Uh, but there's some more of it right there. These are really happy dandelions. These are getting a lot of water. And this is south thistle, kind of in, in its glory, okay? Once it's starting to uh, flower out, you see its flower buds look pretty similar to dandelion flower buds. But here's one of the main differences. There are several buds coming out of that one peduncle, right? So that's one way to differentiate it. Um, another way is that it has these, these leaves coming up the stem. Um, when it shoots up its flower stem, the leaves kind of come up with it. And the leaves look different as the plants are to mature. These are called clasping leaves right here where they kind of clasp around the stem, right? And you can still eat them. They're good. They're, they're quite bitter. They're quite bitter, I'll say that. I would definitely... I'll put these into a smoothie every once in a while just to get some kind of nutrition. But I'll often cook these leaves and I'm going to eat them um, because they have a pretty kind of a gnarly flavor, but they're good. Um, actually, my favorite part of this plant is the stem, though. If you can find the stem when it's like this one, this stem is probably pretty good because the flowers haven't come all the way out. Once the flowers come all the way out, the stem's going to be a bit tougher and more bitter. But the stem is actually the least bitter part of this plant. And this is a very common agricultural weed. Um, the genus is Sanchus, and there's many different species of it. I think this is a common south thistle. Once again, that Sam Thayer book goes deep into the different kinds of south thistle that you can find. But if I'm going to eat this, it has this kind of latex to it, which a lot of the lettuce family does. Even your, uh, you know, agricultural lettuces will have some latex to them sometimes. They're getting more mature. There's kind of this white latex to it. And this part, probably my favorite part. Mm, this one has good flavor. It's definitely bitter, um, but it has more sweetness to it. And that stem is just, it's a really nice texture. And I love eating stems and shoot vegetables because they're kind of more substantial than the greens a lot of times. You can kind of get an asparagus-y thing going on. Um, let's see what else about South Thistle. Well, I imagine you could take these unpopped flower buds and also pickle them like capers. And you might be the first person in history to do it if you do that. So that's South Thistle and Dandelion. Any questions on how to differentiate those or any kind of culinary questions?